Good evening fellow Groove Riders, Will from Wheels Electrical Services, also known as the Midfield General. In tonight's episode, what we're gonna do is, it's only a little short one, but what we're doing is, if you pan around, Ollie, to see where they've got this PIR that's fed from a spur the other side of the world, we've just found that, because this is actually a new skull. We're gonna get rid of all this FP, and what we're gonna do is see this load cable underneath, which also looks like an FP. We're gonna swing it round onto that wall, and then what we're going to do is we're going to fit this adapter box. This is that wireless switch, yeah, where we're going to obviously house that receiver in there. We could obviously put it in the light fitting like we normally do, but we're not going to. I think we're just going to put it in there. And then we're just going to tube across. What we're going to do is we'll see where this FP has been done. Even though it's not really in the middle, it'd be nice to have it in the middle, but we're going to have to go over that because that's going to leave a mark on the... Thing. so what we've got is we've got a bit of just in there we've got some of our gear because we've been here all week but i thought we'd just record this because it's slightly a bit interesting is that we're going to tube across in and out and then obviously using metal saddles these are not emergency lights we're not asked to put emergency lights but where we're using these jcc ones which we've used before you can actually put the uh you can actually put the uh emergency one in there so if they do need it i'm gonna i'm gonna suggest it to them but i think it's enough of subcontractors that actually do the uh who actually do the uh emergency lights so it's obviously cross paths and it so you know how it is with schools and all that so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna wire it for emergency and all that and we go go from there so all in all should be a nice one should only be here about three four hours then you reckon should be easy yeah right let's get into it bosh roll it Do us a massive favour, like, follow, subscribe, and flick the bean because it helps channel grow. Bosh. So you support. I show you support as well. Mel. <laughs> Ollie's, uh, Ollie's actually. Uh, we've isolated the circuit. We removed that with a hammer, Ollie, didn't we? Yeah. You know what I mean. So now he's just going to take all that FP down there. And what I want to do is I want to put. So we. I'll show you through some of the gear we've got. So obviously this is my pack out bit for all the glands. So that's going to be to the FP going into the adaptable box that house that. And then we're going to have the male adapt. These are male or females. I always get them mixed around. I think they're females, but they go. So there's going to be one there, one there. Hopefully we don't have to sit into these. Uh, sit into. There's that cat. I was doing. Uh, we're doing a armor down there, and I was trying to go. That's a lovely old cat, and all, isn't it? It's like a tiger one. Um, I trod in cat's poo the other day. It's horrendous. We, yeah, we've started to reuse, start using my pack outs to get a bit more. My van's, my van's actually loaded up with them all and all that. You can start ripping it all out if you want, guys. And uh, we've started using them all, because especially schools and all that. The only trouble is if with these is that if you're working in people's houses, it is a bit of a nightmare. Because I all my vans racked out for all this sort of stuff. I'll show you, I'll put a video or a little video, and that's good trade one that always comes in. So all my stuff is normally in these stuff, but I thought I'd give you a quick show. I'll probably give you a quick van tour and all that if you want at one stage if if anyone wants to. So yeah, like so where you see Ollie's taking that off, where that mark is stained. Where do you think we should we're gonna have to go over the screw heads, aren't we? We might or do we take the screw heads out and then go over the dirty mark or? I reckon if we put the, uh, the, the centre of the uh, conduit between the both of them. Yeah. I reckon it'll I reckon it'll cover it. Cover it, yeah. I think we should definitely take them screw heads out though. Uh the the plugs. Well we'll have a little look, we'll see how it goes, yeah. Found this. I've stripped these lights down. I know I bleat on about these lights quite a bit, but I am actually really impressed with them, and I know all, all the other lads are as well. Is that we see where this knockout is here, Ollie? There, where we've got the saddle, we won't have to set them into there, which ain't a problem setting the setting them, you know what I mean? I've, I've got no, it's just that obviously where, it, where we're gonna we'd have to step in, step out, step in it. It's, it'd be a job to get it to uh, look pretty good. So yeah. luckily enough, we won't have to set them, which is a bit of a touch, you know what I mean? And I think it just makes it look, look a lot easier. I know you would probably say, oh yeah, you know, like, you know, but we want it to look as simple and easy as we can, don't we? Ollie stripped that all out, it's a bit stuck there. We're obviously gonna have to float over that box lid, but all in all, it should look all right, shouldn't it, really? 
they're going to be a bit big. What what the drama is is because this is a not like after school club. The neighbours used to get the arm. I think it was before they had this canopy, but it weren't dark enough. So what I suggested that's why we're having a wireless switch next to the call point, so they can turn it off in the evenings and all that. Which is fair enough, I suppose, if you've got a floodlight and all that. It's funny, isn't it? You'd let people move next to a school and they get the ump about stuff like that. But I think where it was on a sensor, it was a, well, we just see that cat, didn't we? You know what I mean? So, and I tried that shit the other day. So, all in all, gonna be all right, yeah. So, obviously, I keep most of all my uh, most used bits on there, so I need that for uh, doing the lights. I've just drilled out these. Uh, ones for that so what ollie's going to do here is we're going to put a laser up in the middle we're going to measure the middle put it up then put a laser and then we're going to fit the lights then do the tube because then we can do the distance for the saddles with where, them in situ where are we putting the laser center center of what center the center of the doors find the center of the doors so to see we get the center of the light yeah. then obviously we can put the laser up there for that the level yeah, yeah okay. or is there any flashing on that is there anything we could no that's too maybe we could put something cup on this for lift that up a little bit find what we're short what's that yeah no if we put something on top of there because what i was thinking was is that if you put it on there you can only get one side of it can you but if we put put like so maybe a box or a crate up there on top of that roof and then fire it that way yeah but our main concern at the moment is obviously finding the centre of these two doors so we get the light fitting centre, yeah? So we're literally just trying to find ways to get that right height. So we literally see that that plug there, that's the height we want because that hides all the other uh, staining on the walls and all that off that, where that FP was. I've just got this all made up, so I managed to get a screw in there and then ban that to hold that so we can still press it to pair it. We did have to grind down the uh, screws, but we're going to put silicon on all of those and all the things anyway, so should be all right. Just waiting, just trying to get this right height, and then we've got that, and then we're going to quickly put them up, and then we'll be able to do the space in the saddles, and then we'll be flying. We always listen to music, and this is uh, I reviewed this radio. But uh, recording it and then trying to do it without the music is a nightmare. Just overcome a problem. We've just noticed that we this is all like firmo and we we had to get a bit of it out to see what was behind there. But we can't these screws. Actually, what are they? Six inches. They actually hit yeah. the plastic on the back and come through. We've we've hopefully located the pipe. So what we're going to do? We're going to do the same with that one. Then we've got enough a couple for there. But the saddles we just have to go proper. We have to go tight, probably do a five mil hole. I'm not too worried about the saddles because there's only really going to be, what, four there and maybe two there. The saddles are only there just to hold it back, and it? It's not really, because that box is going to be fitted properly. This is, but what else can it do? Toggles won't hold that because there's no, there's not, uh, the insulation goes straight back to the plastic, so there's nothing really you can do, is there? No. Even like far, even the, uh, plasterboard but yeah i'm happy with that well we'll see where we are with it if not because we have got no nails but that's just crazy because i just rip it apart with it if you want to alter it you know what i mean so i'm not doing that yeah yes we crack on with that and we've checked the other side because there's all uh it's all been fireproofed in there as well Yeah, sweet. Yeah. It's perfect. It's, what else can you do, isn't it? Uh, yeah, on the lens. Cleaning this uh, conduit, you're just using them under wipes and all that. And I tell you, uh, that's the, one of the drawbacks. With that, you know, the one that Reese has got on his van, the tube Ollie. See, I've got the pro one where it's actually got a liner. I'll show you in a minute. But um, it's supposed to have a liner so you don't knock anything. But the trouble is, over time, you put dirty stuff in there, it's going to fill up inside, isn't it? Because you're not supposed to get the black marking on that because you've got the mark. But some people actually shove um, sponges in there so it don't actually move around. But you've got to be proper busy, in you, to be remembering to doing that. Oh. Yeah. But yeah, it is a drawback because like, you do get these marks where it's brand new and it's like, winds me up a little bit, to be fair. Uh, yeah, this, so I have this pro one here, 
which if you look inside i never lock this up because i always think well, the amount of times i come out and it's sitting like that it's unbelievable but see but that's lined that's supposed to stop all that but what some people do because the three meter lengths stop about there people put the sponges in there so it don't rattle around that's what does it but it's a little pain but when you're putting broad like trunk in and like uh anything pvc white it always scuffs it up and makes it look old it winds me up so i'm forever throwing away brand new stuff it's just a waste of the conduit we've just done the bit in between there so what we've done we found halfway then done quarter then ollie's just fixing that box and then he's going to do the same spacing off and then we're going to divide it by two or three aren't we ollie yeah. obviously this this upright is going to determine this next one i reckon you probably have to go as close as you can on that one and then that probably measure between the two it's not going to be quite right but yeah, i didn't want that box tight up tight up against the wall so we're going to, he's going to clip we're going to p clip that in neatly and get that i'll just quickly show you some of the wiring i've been doing so i bought part drums because we ain't got any lsf free core oh we just done it in single so what i basically done was is uh well i didn't have enough uh one five i just done the two five in the so the permanent feed to there so if we swap them over to emergencies or oh, we need emergencies at least it's wide what we do is the permanent feed where we put that that fp into the uh the thing we just uh, put that in there as well so it's here so if we have to swap it we only have to change the bit have you seen these did you do that one at the skull where you do the emergency pack just clips in no, don't even have to change anything it, yes. it's proper decent i'll tell you well, well impressive and it's got micro sensors but this is why we couldn't put micro sensors in because they need an overriding switch so they can turn it off at night because of complaints because it's going to be proper bright now isn't it yeah, heavy exactly what we want just put the saddles there so what what it's done is you found the middle haven't you ollie and then we're going to go one in the in between that one and the middle because we're not going to get a fix in here the only concern is is because this will probably be saying that the sun's around the other side so the sun's by the time the sun gets here it'll be night time or evening but i'm not really concerned about that but obviously metal saddles we use metal saddles as standard I've second fixed that. I did actually put that up, but then I realised we're gonna to have to take a loop and the R1 R2 from there anyway, so I had to take it down. But we're getting there, Ollie, aren't we? Yeah. Right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fit this next to this call point, and what you do is see where you've got the writing on the back, you just get a little terminal driver like that and you can prise it open, and then you've got these two little wing nuts there. See that them bits there? They go on there. It does come with double-sided tape, but where this is junior school, we're gonna fix it to the wall and we're going to put it next to the call point with it labelled. This is all up and running now. So we no doubt we'll show you at the end with it working, but I don't know which bit of it. I think it's uh, the whole lot. But yeah, it's never not impressive, is it? And we've obviously got that up there. Just showing that we just got to put a P clip in for the supply. Then we've got to test it and then we're all sorted. It's all done. Yeah? Yeah almost done we just got to finish the testing got the switch mounted i'll just quickly show you i probably didn't mention it earlier on in the video but see that button there what you have to do is you have to press that down and hold the switch down for i think you said like five seconds and then all of a sudden it pairs and when it comes to the actual terminations in there it just basically has on this bit here it is actually got in and out so you've got live live neutral neutral live and it is pretty easy so obviously in is for the the in is the fp coming down which is the feed and then the lights are the out and then obviously where we've run the permanent feed we've put in there the the feed and the feed coming in and that other cable into a way go so we've got the facility to have permanent feed there all the time so that's how we've done it i'll quickly have a wrap up and then i'll show you at the end Right, so that's all finished. Ollie's done that. It's all come on. So Ollie's just in there. We've got a light switch, I'll show you. Yeah, so they're coming on. They're going to be lovely and bright at night time, they are. Yeah, go on, turn it off. Yeah, back on. Yeah, nice one. So they're all tested out, all right. Turn them off then, mate. So yeah, as a little recap, what it was is they had a PIR there that fed the light there that was irritating all the neighbors. Now we've overrid it, so now they can turn it on and off. Zero damage inside. 
we use these, don't get me wrong, we're not sponsored or anything like that by these switches, but they are so reliable, aren't they, Ollie? And we've used them for loads of different applications, you know, for like remote buildings, for remote switches, and that is where the receiver is there. Our switch is all right, but yeah, and that is it, nice and sorted. And that's our job done. And that is 20 to 12, so that took about three hours. So other than me, keep fucking about recording. We've done all right, haven't we? Yeah, job done. Well done, mate. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, if you're gonna be anything to be electric, keep it Will. Oh, yes, yes. Welcome, I'm Will from Will's Electrical Services, and also the new proud sponsor. We're just waiting for the artwork for there. It turns out to be cheaper than a membership to sponsor it. And also, my front door is actually closer than the flag. And you're going to watch me drive, yeah? Yeah? See the flag? Can you get the flag in? Yeah, so I've got a five there, so don't forget, be electric, up the old blues. <laughs> yeah? I've got a challenge. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Hold on. Yes, yes.